Hi viewers, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show how to create DEM using Google Earth. You can create your own DEM using GPS or using Google Earth also. You can find various literature about the DEM and they have shown very high accuracy here on paper validation of Google Earth based DEM using leveling data. You can find various literature visualization leader in google earth so let's start with google earth i'm opening first my arc map i'll use arc map and google earth for creating this dem so here see already i have opened it my google earth image here my place new area features here you know the google earth are supported only kml and kmz file you can create your shape file into kml and kmz file in arcgis I'll prepare another tutorial for that. Just uncheck it. Here already I have created some point, elevation point. Let's see this point. Zoom it. This is a very small area, Coach Bihar. I want to create more point here. So if you knew, then you have to click this option here, add path. If you first time create your data, because already I have created this point using add path. So now I'm going to add in this point. Just see. Here this point, existing point, just right click here and add path, click here. Now, rename it Coach Bihar Elevation 2. Okay, most important thing you have to change your measurement is in default it's mile. You have to change according to your units, meters here because I will create 5 meters resolution demo. Also one important thing you have to check it this terrain this option if you check it then you can find here the latitude longitude and elevation it is fit if you if you if you click the measurement meter then it will be converted into meter no problem so i am taking others point here just drag it for your area of interest very slowly very slowly okay drag it here dragging here very slowly. If you want to create very high resolution dim, then take maximum possible point. There is no rule to dragging. You can overwrite, but you need to drag it slowly. This is a point data, not line. If you drag it fastly, then your interval will be very high. This is a very useful tutorial, I think. Those are working with them. You can use it for hydrological studies like slope, aspect, river generation, stream ordering. Google is a important tool for our research. In the free version of them, like Astar Dam, SRTM Dam, Carto Dam, is 30 meter resolution. Also, Alus Pulsar Dam, 12.5 meter resolution. But you can prepare them any resolution like I, I will prepare it in 5 meter resolution because I want to show flash plot area of Kochbeer town but this is a level plane area so here hardly defines the highest and lowest 15 meter this educational purpose that's why I am taking the small area but after that I can add the mode point here. Now, for me it is completed, just click OK button here. Now see here, another point, Kochbeer Elevation 2, right click here. And save place as, already it is saved in my place, my place, so it is permanent, no problem. Save place as, Kochbeer Elevation, just change it, in default it is KMZ, change it to KML. And save it now open a google and type here gps visualizer 
this one gps visualizer dot slash and here the gps visualizer dot com elevation click here now here the option upload a file click here and upload this file elevation to and just create at this point and your output should be in gpx file so now click just convert and add elevation it is working it will take some time now just see it's converted into the gpx data name elevation and point now click this download option click it download is completed now see uncheck it and now go to your system toolbox and here the option conversation tool click it and from gps click this from gps or file in gpx two features double click here input gpx file we have downloaded it in this one gpx data gpx file and open it change your output path gpx point shape to save it and click ok now see here the point open an attribute table see 6500 point here check it this point at the elevation 47 meter 48 meter okay let's close it again go to this properties you can find it the source this is a geo referred data geographic coordinate system wgs 1984 so you have to project it again close it directly this area go to data form choose your utm zone and click ok again go to the gps point go to data and export your data here you should click this data frame because already we have changed our data set that a gps point projected to rename it and your extension should be dot shsp save it and click ok now add your data into your arcgis so now <coughs> here 3d analysis tool click this 3d analysis tool you can find raster interpolation in the raster interpolation you can find one tab topo to raster this option click, double click here then input features that means our gps point this data here the field option change it id to elevation and contour option change it also it change also it point elevation and you can change your output surface system i'm changing it like team google Earth to save it and output cell size it is optional but you can change it i'm creating five meter team so five meter output cell size is everything is okay no need to change anything okay just click ok now here our dim uncheck it go to this properties and then symbology you can stress it as look like dim see here the difference only 41 meter to 50 meter so only 9 meter difference so now you can use this dim in your various purpose like here the raster surface I'm creating the slope, right click here, uh, at the dim, Google Earth 2, at the dig, you can choose degree or you can choose percent wise, you can change output raster, but just for education purpose, I'll not take the time, so here our slope, and you can create contours, dim, I am creating 3 meter contours, from this data just see click here here the three meter contour again you can calculate the curvature 
them i'm creating only curvature raster not profile curvature plan curvature just click ok here the curvature uh, you can create hill shade everything you can create you can create river you can use the hydrology tool from this special analysis toolbox here hydrology toolbox fill direction fill accumulations then steam order steam to features you can delineate water shed also so thank you for watching this tutorial i'll upload videos every day from basic to advanced please subscribe my channel